Yo, what is up guys? Bass and Coffee here. Today, we're gonna be fishing at the Bass Pro Shop Pond. Before we get to fishing, I'm gonna show you guys my top secret GoPro Hero 5 video settings. Yes, you heard it right. I'm gonna slowly but surely show you guys how to edit and how to add music or whatever. Add some dope B-rolls to start off the electronics department. I'm gonna show you my GoPro video settings. It's not that complicated, uh, but anyways, if you got yours out, you can probably do it step by step with me. First off, you wanna just turn the GoPro on by hitting the left or right button. And then, as you notice down on the bottom, there's three different options. You'll see resolution, FPS, and FOV, which is field of view. So for the first one, the resolution, I like to keep mine at 2.7K. That is a good all-round resolution to put at your uh, GoPro settings at. You can do 4K, but uh, most computers can't edit 4K unless you have like a really expensive expensive laptop or computer so I just edit in 2.7k the reason I choose 2.7k over 1080p is because you can crop your 2.7k down to 1080p which still will look good you can't crop a 1080p video to something else because you can't crop anymore because uh, YouTube best video quality for YouTube is probably 1080p and up so you want to set it to 2.7k Let's click that. Also, you cannot render 1080p to 2.7K. That'll look pretty bad. You can only render down, which is you can render a 4K video down to a 1080 and it still look crispy. But anyways, moving on to the second option, which is the frames per second. I like to keep mine at 30 frames per second because uh, it's just uh, what I render in. So if you want slow motion, put it at 60, but it's gonna take away more of your memory in your SD card. When you put it at 60 frames per second, you can post edit slow-mos, but uh, if I'm gonna use slow-mo, I'm gonna use the DSLR. So I just stick it at 30 frames per second. To our last and final option, the field of view, I like to go with super view. That is the best option for me for fishing because it gets like, it gets like that and that. It gets a wide angle, very wide angle, which is good. Plus, with that 2.7K, you can crop it down to 1080p and it'll still look good. But anyways, those are the three main options that are most important. If you want to scroll to the right, there's a PT Pro Tune. I don't put that on because I can just post edit my colors and stuff. Video stabilization, turn that on. You want good stabilization on your videos. Auto low light, like to keep that off. And manual audio control, which I don't use because I don't use the... Uh, use a big brick and the mic that is it for the quality of my videos hope you guys enjoyed this video all right guys if you want to see more of this tech stuff give me a thumbs up or something comment below what you want me to do like edit wise and all that stuff you say i got dope b-rolls i don't know if i got dope b-rolls or not i'd say they're okay but not the best anyways let's get to fishing hope we catch some good fish today Today we're out here at the Bass Pro slash Pinnacle Pond. Gonna do some fishing, just bought some baits and uh, gonna try those out. They'll probably be no good, but I just wanted to buy some stuff because I wanted energy drink and some food. But uh, gonna do some fishing here. The reason why this place is so dope is because Bass Pro Shop is just up that hill. So you can just park your car over there and walk down here and fish. But uh, it's highly pressured by people, so uh, don't know if we're gonna do any good or not. Let's go fishing, boys and girls. You can buy lures at Bass Pro Shop and come down here and test them out. So if you guys want to see what I got in this bag, I'll show you. We got this walleye angler 
grub. It's in smoked flavor. And we got two packs of these. One eighth Crappy Max Tungsten Round Ball Jigs, Jig Heads. They go great with this and hopefully we'll catch some fish on these. Gonna slow roll that. And we also have Topwater Bait. The KVD Sexy Dog Junior. Looks pretty dope. I always like the bone color. And uh, I'm just gonna toss it around here and see if we can catch a fish. They're not busting or anything, but you know, you may be lucky and get a top water bite going on. But anyways, we're gonna get rigged up. Got a bait caster and a spinning reel. Got the monster I bought there. Freaking expensive. Should've just got one at Walmart. If this is a successful day, you guys should do the same thing. Go buy you some lures at Bass Pro Shop. Come down here to the pinnacle and uh, try out this pond. I'm gonna rig the sexy dog on the bait caster. I'm gonna rig the grub on the spinning reel. Let's get to it. I really have high hopes for today. It is overcast. Let's try our luck with the sexy dog. I got that rigged up on the PC Fun Phantom with the All Star Classic and 50 pound braid. Now for my spinning reel, I'm gonna put on this 1 8 ounce jig head. I like to rig the tail upwards like this instead of downwards. A lot of people do it downwards, but I just like the action of it having up here. Go into the nose, come out about almost to the end. Dude, that was perfect. That is perfect. There we go. Two baits tied on. Also got some pecans. No go for the soft water. Let's try out the uh, smoke grub. This pond is pressured like every single day by people. I mean, it's easy access to get to. You can basically sucker around this place. I'm gonna figure out today what the bass want today. I'll figure it out one way or another. It may not be this grub, may not be top water, but I got a tackle box full of surprises for them. Let's go. We're here to figure out where the bass are at in this little tiny pond. They can't be that far gotta either be on one of these points near the fountain over by the uh, lay down somewhere we just gotta figure it out I'm done fishing this grub fished it slow fished it fast bounced it no good so we're gonna switch to some of my secret baits I think I'm gonna switch the sexy dog for a crankbait maybe that'll work let's try out a crankbait maybe this red one will work I got one, I got one, dude. Holy shoot, it's a big one. Holy shoot, it's a big one. Oh gosh, it's a big one. I think it might be a catfish. Oh, it's a bass, dude. Oh, it's a giant bass. Holy crap, bro. Get it up here, bro. Get it up here. Holy crap. Holy crap, bro. That is a good fish, bro. We got lucky, guys. We got freaking lucky. That is a solid chunk right there. Solid, solid chunk. Check out this beauty right there. That's a good looking fish. Over by the Bass Pro Shop Pond or the Pinnacle. How about that? I think that's a two pounder right there. Two pounder all day. We're gonna get an epic release and uh, try to catch some more of these. Who knew these were in here, dude? Who knew these were in here? Let's go. Let's get a release. There you go, buddy. Oh, shoot, I wasn't recording. Well, I see some videos where people do on Steel's Creek down there. I don't know whether you were one of them or not. I saw you got your camera. What's your name? <laughs> Calm. Tom, yeah. my name's Jimmy. Jimmy? Good talking to you. You too. I appreciate the tips, Jimmy. You have a good day.
All right, guys, let's go over the rod and reel and line. I'm gonna sit and talk to you about the uh, lure that I use. It is the 1.0, I believe, either the 1.0 or the 1.5 square bill in crawfish color. That is the juice for today. Only caught one fish on it, but uh, it was a good, good fish. I'm throwing that on a 6.8 fast medium. I'm using the PC Fun Phantom. All in all, this bait saved me from getting skunked. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment if you want me to show you guys more tips and tricks on tech stuff like editing and stuff. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button if you're into that stuff. And uh, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time on Bass and Coffee.